Hello, today we're going to talk about how to add a uh, group to Active Directory. So let me log into my server 2008. Now, uh, there's some important concepts to make sure that you understand about uh, Active Directory users and uh, groups. The, uh, the main thing is, is there are different types of uh, groups and uh, there are certain rules that you should follow which a lot of people don't and the uh, the big one is called AGLP so uh, what you should do in Active Directory or any uh, large office environment to simplify your job you should create accounts and those accounts should go into a global group and then that global group should go into the local group and then I should add permissions to the local group to whatever resource. So let's say I've got a printer. A lot of people have their printer and they just give permissions to the account. But that person quits. So suddenly I have to go delete their account off their printer and everything that they had access to and now assign it to whoever took their place. So the idea is I should put an account in a global group on the uh, on the uh, machine that runs the global I mean the machine that runs the printer I should create a local group on that machine put the global group in the local group and then give the permissions to that local group so let's say Bob from accounting quits uh, then all I gotta do is just remove Bob from the global group and then put whoever took Bob's place into the global group and suddenly my job's a heck of a lot easier. I don't have to go around and find every file and folder that Bob had access to. Uh, a lot of people don't use AGLP but it's important that you use it when you in really large environments. So let's not save that. Now uh, we're gonna do start and then admin tools, active directory, users and computers, continue so we're going to make a, a new group here. So we'll do uh, two of them. We'll do new group. And uh, the group name is going to be called printer users. And it is local because the printer is hooked up to this machine. Now this is domain local. If, uh, if I had the printer hooked up to an XP machine or a Windows 7 machine or whatever, then I should go create a local group over there on that machine. It's not called a domain local, it's just a local group at that point. This is only called a domain local because it's on a domain controller. So domain local and security. Uh, distribution is only for mailing lists. It doesn't involve any kind of security so I don't think you really want to use distribution that much. Uh, okay. So now I've got right click and we'll do new and then we'll do group. So now I've got uh, sales people, right? So they're a uh, global. Now global means uh, that they can access it anywhere in my domain or tree as it's commonly referred because you gotta think of all the subdomains branching off like a tree. Uh, universal means that I have several trees so if I own another company and they are their own domain and I'm gonna give them access to permissions to items in that other domain I should go over there create a local group come over here make a global group or a universal group sorry and put my universal group here into that global group over there or that local group actually I should probably create a universal group here a global group over there and then a local group over there so that I have three an extra step in a AGLP but uh, the important thing is that you get away from this video with nesting to make your job a lot easier. Anyway, I've only got the one domain or tree. Uh, I don't have a whole forest, not yet. So I'm going to click global and security. And then this is sales. So I can take sales and I can uh, add members. So let's add uh, a user. There's a user in there now. And uh, 
there's this person. So if I do member of, they're a member of sales now. So back to users. And uh, you can tell the difference is that this person only has the one head for an icon. That makes this a user. This group has two heads for the icon. That makes this a group. So now I want to take sales and uh, I can make them a member of add and print users uh, let's try it the other way oh printer users uh, I can take members and add sales here so I should do that on the machine that actually has the printer sales okay and if I come back here to sales there's members member of and uh, manage by of course this doesn't really manage the group it's just whoever's the head of the department kind of thing uh, who's the boss who do I complain to if something does somebody does really something stupid but um Hopefully this makes a, a lot more sense on why you want to use groups a lot in your Active Directory domain. Uh, even if you're small, it can ease your administration of people quite a bit. And uh, hopefully you get to play with the server more. Uh, thank you for watching.